All right, everyone, once again, welcome to the Holiday Entertaining class, where we will be building a holiday board today. Now, if you were with me um, a couple of weeks ago in one of our Produce Spotlight classes, we built a board that was a candy cane caprese board. And a lot of you wrote me some emails and messages that you were going to make that board for the holidays or um, for Christmas Day itself or Christmas Eve. So um, I'm so glad that you guys all enjoyed that. And I tried to go with a similar vibe for today's board, something that didn't take a lot of ingredients and will be hopefully um, easy to build and something like you are inspired and feel like you can do. So today um, we are going to be making a cheese and grape Christmas tree. Um, so I have my products here that you can see um, that we're going to dig into, but I'm going to go ahead, turn the video off of me, focus on my products, and we're going to be making one quick thing before we start to build our board. Okay, so let me turn this video off and remove that spotlight. So right now you guys should just be seeing my ingredients. Is that right? If somebody can give me some thumbs up, you can just see my ingredients here. Perfect. All right, cool. So like I said, we're going to be making a grape and cheese uh, Christmas tree and only using the ingredients that I have right here. That's how simple it's going to be. But um, you could totally leave this as just a festive tree. Um, thank you for the nail comment. I got to get new ones here soon after Christmas. So if anybody has ideas for January, let me know. Um, but so you could leave this as just a uh, festive tree. Or if you wanted to turn it into a Christmas tree, which I'm going to do today, then you can make some stars. Okay. Oh, I like the snowflake idea. I do have a snowflake now on this one, but blue. Uh, yes, yeah, snowman, snowflakes. Okay, guys, I hear you. I like it. So if you want to make this a Christmas tree, then um, you can make a star to go on the top of the tree. All right. Um, so what I did is I simply took a, let me grab it here. I simply took a flour tortilla, okay, that I had, and um, then I used a cookie cutter to cut out some stars. I got about four stars out of one, just in case, um, you know, they don't turn out or, or whatnot. So cookie cutter, a lot of us are using them this time of year, and I put them on some parchment paper and sprayed them with some cooking spray, okay? I used canola. Um, and I'm going to put these in my oven at 400 for about 8 to 10 minutes, okay? So I'm going to pop them in and let them bake and get crispy while we make our treats. So just a moment. Oh, okay, so I have them in the oven now. I have the timer set, so you guys won't have to remind me. I love all of the ideas and chat about my nails. I appreciate that, guys. So um, I like them. I'll let you, of course, know what I end up doing. But let's build this board here. As I said, super simple that these are the only ingredients we're going to be using, okay? So I have three different types of cheeses today. I have um, my favorite. Colby Jack, okay? And what I love about this Taste of Inspiration packaged cheese is it's already cubed for you. Totally could get some blocks of cheese and cube it yourself if you want, but if you're looking for really easy peasy, I think that this is the way to go. So you can use whatever cube cheese that you want, but like I said, Colby Jack's my favorite, so I have that. Um, I also like a little kick, and for those of you who might like a little kick on your board, I have some pepper jack cubes. And then lastly, for something a little different and fancy, I have um, some gouda. Uh, I just think that that's one that's a little bit different and a nice touch for our tree, okay? But as I mentioned, you can do white cheddar, regular cheddar, all good choices. I'm going to put them here to the side and then show you what else I have going on here. The grapes, okay? Now, how easy is this 
we want to use red and green grapes for our tree. We sell them already packaged together half and half. So that way you don't have to buy a bag of the green, a bag of the red. We have them all ready here to go seedless for you. Okay. So I'm going to give these a rinse. And one more thing I want to show you though, like you could just get these and not be done. But I think I have mentioned to a lot of you who are regulars before about cotton candy grapes. So if you have some little ones that, you know, might be attending some of your gatherings this weekend or Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, maybe pairing some cotton candy grapes on now is the season for them it can be a fun little, oh, like, what's that? And um, so I since I've talked about them so much, I just wanted to actually show them to you, see what the packaging is. But those could be one to throw in. Totally don't have to. You could just get the big clam cell that I showed you. But then lastly, for some greenery in our tree, okay, I have some herbs. I went with, I know there's like a glare, but I went with the poultry blend of our herbs because the poultry blend contains sage, rosemary, and thyme. And I just wanted the option to be able to use any of those as greenery um, in our tree. So you could just go with one of them, but I, I tend to buy the poultry blend so I have options. All right, let me rinse my grapes off here quick again, and then we will get building. Okay, so just a moment. So I already gave them a rinse, but just to do a little extra there, okay? So there we go. Oh, you could totally do parsley too. Whatever floats your boat, I'm game for that. Now, we're going to start with cheese, okay? You can do this however you want, but my goal is going to be to have um, four, wait, am I saying this right? Um, yeah, my goal is going to be to have, uh, well, no, three rows of cheese and three rows of grapes. Uh, grapes, I think, is what I'm going for here, okay? Um, so we're going to start with some cheese, and I'm going to start with, um, uh, yes, you are right about the rosemary. I'm going to start with the Gouda at the top of my tree. Okay, so just because that's the more like fancy one, so I'm just going to have a little bit of that. Here we go. I'm going to leave some room for my star. I have a couple minutes left. I think I'm actually going to put this here as a placeholder so I know how much room I have. Okay, and we're just going to start building this tree. And guys, I haven't done this yet, so we're going to going to be like a learning little process together, um, but we can stack it as much as we want. I'm probably, if you know me, going to fix this a million times along the way, but you get the gist up there. Now I'm going to do um, some of the red grapes first. Okay, so let me move those over and we'll pull out a little bit of a smaller bunch of the red grapes down here. Let's see. Okay. Oh, this will be, I think, a good, a good little one here. And I could use my kitchen scissors to. I think I am going to get my kitchen scissors to cut that. Just a moment. Grapes can be expensive. I agree. We usually do have like the clip coupons for them, so that's something to uh, to check out. Now, you could pull all of these off if you wanted. I'm going to leave mine together just because then some of that greenery pokes out that looks like tree branches, right? Okay. Am I even so far? I feel like I am. Sorry. Now I'm getting really in there. Okay. So now we have the grapes and we can add more grapes on top to cover this up a bit if we want as we go. But we have that. And 
now we're gonna do some more cheese. I'm gonna do my pepper jack now. I'm saving the Colby Jack for last um, since I wanna have more of that down there, okay? So each row, we just want to be a little bit bigger than the first row, right? So that way it stands out like a tree would. Okay, get that in there. And if you run out of one type of these cheeses, which who knows I could, then you can just combine some other ones in there with it. But we want to make it so it's a little bit bigger, like this way. Okay. I think that's looking good. I'm trying to, yeah, I'm looking at it from the screen. I think we're good there. Yeah, maybe put a couple just right in there. You guys let me know. We're all right. Okay, good. I'm glad you're liking it. I'm liking it too. I'm like, I can, I'm like getting excited. All right. So next we're going to work with our green grape. And I might go ahead and use this big pumpkin one. Ah, that's a little too big. Let's see. I might pull some of them off. Oh, there are my stars. Okay. So just a moment. Let me grab my stars. Okay. I hear you. I hear you. All right, guys, these turned out super cute. Look, they puffed up crispy like a chip. Okay, um, so I'm gonna let them cool. And then um, we will use some of those again in a moment. All right, let me cut some of these off. It just doesn't fan out the way I wanted to to use this as the big one here. So let me cut that there. The, there we go. The green ones are a little bit bigger than the red, which I'm almost inclined. I'm kind of looking at my, uh, my hot candy ones to see if I want to use those instead. But I think this is, this is going okay. This is, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We kind of need to fill in this little hole here, don't we? How's that? Maybe take a couple off over. No? Good? How, what do you think, guys? Oh, yeah, and some dried cranberries. That would be good. I like that idea. Okay. All right. Okay, good. Now, some more cheese. Cheese. And now we're just gonna, I'm gonna lay a good bit, probably all of the cheese of the Colby Jack that I have here. Oh, bought, losing some cheese. All right. And we'll spread that out. Some more. And this is one of those instances where like we could tuck some of the gouda in there to fill any holes if we wanted, because we still have a good amount of gouda left. Okay. So there's that. We might fill in, like I said, with the gouda here in a minute. Now let's finish it off with what we have here with the red. It's a lot of grapes going on here, guys. I'm gonna turn this. There we go. Turn that. Then we just need to add a little more over on this side. Palm arrows are awesome, also a good idea. I love that. Very good thought. Okay, I'm gonna tuck you there and then put there. Like so. Move it up just a hair. Got a lot of grapes going down there. You could take something like a celery stick and put down here if your board was big enough um, to finish that off. I want to fill this hole here with some more. Okay. How are we looking? What are we thinking? Maybe some right there. 
There we go. I feel better about that now. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do just to make the cheese come to life a little bit more, okay, since it's kind of tucked in here, I am going to sprinkle some of this Gouda in here just to build it up a little bit. Okay. There we go. So it's kind of on the same level as the, uh, the grapes, but I still want that color. So I'm going to switch some of them. Guys, you know I'm super particular, so don't mind me. Just a moment. There we go. Ta-da. All right. So now let's move these. And I'm going to push this up just a bit so you guys have a little bit of a better... Hold on, this board is heavy. There we go. A little bit of a better view. Okay, and I'm going to... We'll wait to finish it off with the star there. Let me get out some of these herbs. Do -do -do. Okay, now let's see what we want to use where. So here's our rosemary and all of them are smelling lovely we have a little bit of sage and some thyme okay so since i have a lot of the thyme i think i'm going to go ahead and like fill in down here a bit just kind of tuck tuck it throughout you go under okay like so, all right, good. And then we're just going to keep going through. I'm going to make this a little smaller here. Going through and tucking our greenery in. Oh, that's going to slide in there nicely. Beautiful. All right, a little more. I'm going with the time. I kind of like the time look. So I'm going to keep. Buzzing along with that here. Okay, and see, so boards don't have to be hard, right? Like, anybody can build a board, and it can look just fine. Need to add some more cheese to the layers I have? I can do that. I can do that then. Okay. All right. But this is what we have so far. Can we tuck some more in there? Maybe a little under. Like so. And some over here. Looks too good to eat. I hear ya. Okay. Maybe up here a little higher. Okay, how do we feel about this? Okay, I heard you, I heard you, I hear you. I hear you about the cheese. Can fill in some more here on top. You get back there. Okay. Mm. What do you want to say? There we go. Oh, I saw, I see the comment about your four-year-old. That is awesome. I love to hear that. I hope you guys do do it. All right. What do we think? That little butter in there. And we can do a little bit more here on the top. So you go back there. All right. What do we think? Do we like that, guys? Whoa! Oh, 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 don't fall down. Okay. Oh, my grapes just went flying. Okay, guys. Now, let's take this and which star do we like? This one? This one. And at the top, it goes. Ta -da. And we are all done. That's it, guys. Let's see if I can bend this a little better for you guys to see. 
can see my feet down here. Ha <laughs> ha. All right. That's it. We are done with our tree. Yep. You could stack the stars so it goes a little higher, or you could kind of like put stars around your tree if you wanted. But that's it, guys. Done. So fun. So easy. I really hope that you guys give this a try. Um, let me come back to you here. So yeah, I really hope, as I said, um, that some of you give this a try for your get togethers over the next couple of days. Um, let me know, send me some pictures, would love to see. I'm gonna go ahead and stop the recording.